Okay guys, welcome to this tutorial. Sorry about the video quality, but um, can't really do much to be honest. Okay, in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you how to boot up into Backtrack, Linux, Windows, whatever you've installed on a C, whatever operating system you've installed on a CD or USB. I'm going to show you today how to boot into it. Now, this is especially relevant if you've watched my Backtrack tutorial where I show you how to install Backtrack onto a USB. Um, this is the video that will show you how to actually boot into Backtrack once you've installed onto the USB. So the first thing that you need to do is, if you've installed the operating system on the CD, then you need to make sure the CD is in the CD drive. So start up your computer, put the CD in the CD drive and turn it off. Um, with the USB you can just plug it straight in whilst it's off, it doesn't really matter. But with the CD drive, obviously, because it's already closed, you're going to need to um, turn on your computer and um, and put the CD in before you um, before you attempt to boot in. Once you've done that, then what you need to do is you need to press the on button. So turn on the power. Okay, so I've just powered up my PC. Um, I'm going to try and make this as easy as I can. Now have your hands at the ready because what you want to do, if you don't get it first time, don't worry, but what you want to do is you want to look out for a little message towards the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to zoom in. and that It says F12 there for the boot menu. That's, the, that's what you want look for where it says um, where it says something like that um, where it says okay press F2 for the boot menu or press F12 or escape for the boot menu look for something like that once you see it if you don't get it the first time um, in that if it boots into your operating system you know not on your CD but your normal operating system if you don't get it just restart your computer turn it on again and make sure you have your finger on the key at the ready and you know press it a few times if you have to so mine was F12 and I pressed it look F12 um, so I pressed it like a few times and now I'm into this menu. Now this menu is really important. Um, this is basically the list of devices that you can boot from. Okay, so at the moment I've got a CD and the CD has backtrack on it. Now if you've put a USB in, what you need to do is you need to look for USB on the list. Now I haven't got USB plugged in, but your USB will, will definitely be on that list. It will probably be on the bottom most likely. Um, uh, so what you want to do, you want to find um, your USB or DVD. So in my case, I've installed the operating system on CD, so I want to boot in from the DVD drive. Um, so you should have similar. If you boot again, or if you installed on USB, look for the USB and then press enter. Now what that should do is it should start loading Backtrack. Okay. Um, if you've installed Linux or Windows, whatever on the CD, then you should see um, the menu now. Um, and this is a really old version of Backtrack, so. Um, I'm going to start it up. It's Backtrack 4 actually. But just to show you that it's working, I'm going to boot into it. Um, so let's just wait for this loading. But that's about it really. I mean, um, that's about it. That's all it is to it. All you need to do is plug in your CD USB, look for the key, press the key, select your device from the menu and press enter. And then it'll start booting. If you get any errors, most likely it means that um, you haven't installed the operating system properly onto the CD or the USB. So backtrack's just loading here. This is backtrack four. It's really old. Um, but what I'll do actually, I'm gonna end the video here because um, that's it really. There's nothing else to it. If you have any questions or anything or any feedback or anything, please do send me a message on YouTube. Please do subscribe um, and rate and comment the video because um, that's really important for me to carry on <laughs> um, making more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.